Hello everyone, welcome to Books Mandala's YouTube channel. In this channel, we talk about everything and anything related to books. So, in today's video, we have the summary of the book, A Christmas Carol. A Christmas Carol is a play about a mean-spirited and a selfish old man. Ebenezer Scrooge, who hates Christmas. The story opens with Scrooge sitting in his office in his counting house on a Christmas Eve. His clerk, Bob Cratchit, is freezing inside the house because Scrooge refuses to spend money on heating coals for a fire. Scrooge is visited by his nephew Fred but refuses the invitation to attend Christmas dinner at Fred's house the next day. He also turns away two men looking for donations for the poor and grudgingly grants Bob the day off for Christmas to spend with his family. Later that evening, after returning to his dark, cold apartment, Scrooge senses that there is someone in his house. He is visited by the ghost of his dead partner, Jacob Marley. Marley, looking pale and unwell, tells his unfortunate story. As punishment for his greedy and selfish life, his spirit has been condemned to wander the earth weighed down with heavy chains. Marley came to Scrooge to hopefully save him from the same fate. He informs Scrooge that three spirits will visit him during each of the next three nights. Scrooge falls asleep into a deep sleep after Marley leaves. The first spirit to visit Scrooge is the ghost of Christmas past, a strange childlike phantom with a brightly glowing head. He takes Scrooge on a journey into the more innocent days of his youth. Scrooge witnesses his lonely childhood, his apprenticeship with a jolly merchant named Fezziwig, and his engagement to Belle, a woman who leaves Scrooge because his lust for money overpowers his ability to love others. The ghost later takes Scrooge to see Belle and her large, happy family. Walking through these memories, Scrooge is deeply moved. He begs the ghost to take him back to his own time and falls asleep. The next night, the ghost of Christmas present visits Scrooge in a green fur robe. He takes Scrooge to witness various households across London celebrating Christmas. They visit Bob's modest house where the family is preparing a feast. They see Bob's crippled son, Tiny Tim, whose courageous heart and kindness touches Scrooge's own heart. The spirit tells him that the boy will die if his future isn't changed. Towards the end of their journey, the spirit shows Scrooge two starved children named Ignorance and Want living under his coat and tells him to be aware of both, but especially the latter. The final spirit is the ghost of Christmas yet to come. This silent spirit takes Scrooge to the funeral place on a widely despised man. Scrooge sees businessmen discussing the dead man's riches, some vagabonds trading his personal effects for crash, and a poor couple expressing relief at the death of their unforgiving creditor. Scrooge is appalled at the dead man's treatment. He asks the spirit to show him someone mourned in a loving way. To his disappointment, the spirit reveals Cratchit's family grieving the loss of Tiny Tim. Scrooge is further horrified when the spirit takes him to a graveyard. Scrooge breaks and pleads with the spirit to return him to his life so that he can change his intensive ways of living and avoid this hopeless future. When they return, Scrooge is delighted to find that it is Christmas morning. He sends a giant Christmas turkey to the Cratchit's house and spends the day with Fred. He increases Bob's pay the next day and eventually becomes like a second father to Tiny Tim. As the years go by, Scrooge stays true to his promise and honors Christmas with all his heart. He treats people with kindness, generosity, and warmth. The major theme of this novella is redemption and self-reflection. Scrooge is able to avoid external punishment by his own free will and actions. Thank you for watching the video. We hope you find this summary useful. 
you can purchase this book from booksmandala.com. If you liked this video, please consider subscribing to our channel for more bookish content.